right now live at 5. We're live in Duluth at the Juneteenth celebrations. Ursa Minor is brewing something for one of their own that highlights overcoming obstacles. Plus, Florida sees a surge in coronavirus cases as California becomes the latest state to require masks be worn in most public places. Plus, two local businesses are teaming up to help the community. You're watching Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Welcome to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look at City Hall in Duluth, where Juneteenth marchers arrived just moments ago. Our own Emma Quinn is at the march today and will be bringing us the details shortly. Good evening, I'm Kristen Vaki. And I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. Today marks 155 years since the end of slavery in the U.S. And communities across the country are commemorating the day known as Juneteenth, including right here in the Twin Ports. And that's where we find CBS 3's Emma Quinn, who joins us live in downtown Duluth, where people are marching from different areas. Emma, you've been out there for a while. Have you seen a lot of people? Yeah, so Kristen, Tony, I'm here at City Hall. We were down at the Bayfront Festival Park earlier, just like 20 minutes ago. And so there was about 160 people here, there. But now there's about 1,000 people out here. And so I'm here with Kate and London here. Now, hi. 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 Now, can you guys tell, tell me what you guys are doing out here today and why you're here? I'm walking here today, so hopefully that my children will never have a chance to not breathe. All right. And what are you doing out here, London? Why are you out here, baby? Because I want to be heard. You want to be heard? That's awesome. Now, can you tell me, why is this important for you as a mom, as someone who has children of color? Why, why is this so important for you to be here today? Just like she said, so she has a voice to be heard when she gets older. So she's not looked down upon. So she is a person as everybody else is. Let me take this thing off. Yeah. And so now I think right now we're taking a little moment of silence here. So we're going to see, turn, look over here. Now, Kristen, Tony, we're here. A lot of people that I talked to earlier said this is here. They're here at this event for uh, to stand up for police brutality in addition to celebrating Juneteenth. Um, again, down at Bayfront Park, we walked all the way down Railroad Street up over the bridge where uh, I-35 North and South uh, entrances are over down here, over here to City Hall. And now, so just one last question, Kate. Um, with everything that's been going on in the past couple months, uh, past weeks, why is it important for you to be here out here today? Like I just keep saying, so it is her. Don't speak in silence. Speak out. Because if you're silencing yourself, you're not speaking upon it at all. Yeah. It's just kind of right. how I feel. I'm not a good open speaker. That's all right. That's no, okay. Are here. They're here. Are we here? Yes. All right. I'll send it back to you guys. All right. And we'll check back in with you later on in the show. Thanks, Emma. Well, here's a live look at Madison, Wisconsin, where for the first time in the state's history, the Juneteenth flag is flying over the Capitol. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers ordered the flag to fly all day today. One of the Northland's favorite fall events has been canceled. The 59th annual Bayfield Apple Festival won't happen this year. The Bayfield Chamber and Visitor Bureau made that announcement this afternoon, citing community safety during the ongoing pandemic. Chamber reps say the cancellation will be devastating to local orchards and business owners. The event usually brings 50,000 people to the town of less than 500. Community leaders say they don't have the medical resources to deal with an outbreak and had to put safety first. Applefest is rescheduled for October 1st through the 3rd of next year. The special session of the Minnesota legislature could end tonight without lawmakers having accomplished either of the tasks the governor set for them. Lawmakers were supposed to be focused on the bonding bill and criminal justice reform. The Democratic-controlled House and Republican-controlled Senate have each passed bills but haven't finalized the legislation. Senate Republicans have said the session will end at midnight tonight, even if the work is not done. Senate DFL leaders asked them to reconsider during an afternoon news conference. Minnesotans pay our salary year-round, and they rightly expect us to do our work. Just because this work is hard and time-consuming isn't an excuse not to do it. I really believe that's what we all signed up to do, and that's our obligation to the people of Minnesota. The governor has said he'll consider the special session a total failure if lawmakers don't pass meaningful police reform. And by the way, each day lawmakers are in a special session costs taxpayers nearly $15,000.
Meanwhile, Senator Amy Klobuchar said today that she is sponsoring a bill to get more federal funding to states to make it easier to vote. Klobuchar says communities of color need fewer obstacles when it comes to voting. At an event in Minneapolis, she spoke of legislation that would give a common sense solution to expanding early in-person voting and no excuse absentee vote by mail in all states. She said there will be a big shift with double or triple percentage voting by mail, which will be a big change for everyone in the country. I am leaving the federal bill, the national bill, uh, to get more funding to the states uh, to make it easier to vote, as well as changing some of the rules to create uh, some base rules that make it easier for people to vote. And what the bill does is put billions of dollars into voting to help states. The bill will give the states funds for postage, envelopes, and education. It will also allow early voting to be even earlier and training for a new generation of poll workers so that the elderly won't have to risk their lives during this pandemic to volunteer. Meanwhile, Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers is calling on lawmakers to pass criminal justice reform. Some of the measures include setting use of force standards, requiring officers to step in if they see another using excessive force, and prohibiting no-knock warrants. The governor called them first steps towards dismantling racism in Wisconsin, which consistently ranks among the worst for racial disparities. Evers hasn't ordered a special session for the Republican-controlled legislature to take up the proposals. Assembly Democrats and the Black Legislative Caucus have asked for a special session. Duluth's Catholic community welcomed a new bishop today. Pope Francis appointed Father Michael Malloy to be the 10th bishop of the Diocese of Duluth. Malloy previously served the Diocese of Rapid City, South Dakota. Bishop-elect Malloy has been a pastor since 1979. He'll fill the role left vacant by the late Bishop Paul Serba, who died unexpectedly in December. So I'm, I'm also honored to be following in his footsteps uh, because he truly was a wonderful holy man. I I'm honored to be following in the footsteps of all the bishops who have served this diocese. Bishop-elect Malloy will be ordained October 1st. California is the latest state to require masks in most public places following a resurgence of the coronavirus. As cases have surged to a new daily high in Florida, there are also concerns in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where President Trump will hold a rally inside an arena Tomorrow, CBS News correspondent Dania Backus has the latest on the rising coronavirus cases from Los Angeles. I, I think you need to stay protected. I really do. Well, I think uh, they have their place. That place is now just about everywhere in California after Governor Gavin Newsom's statewide mask order. We have encouraged for months that you put face coverings on. Now we're no longer encouraging it because too many people are not doing it. We're making it mandatory. The order came as the number of hospitalizations for COVID-19 in California hit its highest level since April, more than 3,400. Florida reported another 3,200 new coronavirus cases Thursday, an all-time high. Hospitals are now close to 75% capacity. We were feeling like we were going to be able to handle this, and now it's looking like we're going to be all over ground zero, um, just patients everywhere. There are concerns the number of coronavirus patients could continue to increase in Tulsa, Oklahoma, after President Trump holds a campaign rally there Saturday. We're going to be in Oklahoma and it's uh, a crowd like I guess nobody's seen before. Some are already in line outside the 19,000 seat BOK Center. Is it going to be the rallies like we know of, like in the past that we've been going to, like the ones we went to in February? The city's health department executive director has recommended postponing the event. Let me be clear. Anyone planning to attend a large scale gathering will face an increased risk of becoming infected with COVID-19. But Oklahoma Republican Senator James Langford says a surge in cases was always inevitable as people leave isolation. It is a challenge for us. We can't hold the economy down forever. The Trump campaign will hand out masks, but they're optional. Temperatures will be checked on arrival. Hand sanitizing stations will be available. The event does not include social distancing measures. The campaign has advised those at high risk not to attend. And anyone who requested tickets was required to sign a waiver agreeing not to sue if they get the coronavirus. All right, let's check in on the weather. Caitlin, it was beautiful, or is it, it, beautiful out there today. It's gorgeous outside, yeah. and the thing that we haven't typically seen is it's warmer along the North Shore than it is inland. That seems odd. <laughs> which is something we don't typically get to see here in Canal Park, mm -hmm. but...
Beautiful weather today, last day of spring. Summer starts tomorrow and temperatures will actually start to cool down as we go through the next couple of days. 73 here in Duluth, 70 over in Big Fork, 72 in Aiken, and 76 in Hayward. For most of us, we're seeing plenty of sunshine. Clouds are increasing from the northwest and the southeast as we've got two systems kind of approaching us. But right now on the Doppler and satellite, most of Minnesota is still on those clear skies. We're not looking at much on the radar. In terms of Wisconsin and the UP, they're still dealing with some isolated shower activity just from the rem remnants of that cold front that we dealt with last night. That's how slow that cold front is moving. So just some light passing showers in the UP, but otherwise it's going to be a quiet evening, very pleasant evening out in Duluth tonight. Your grilling forecast for the upcoming weekend and tonight. Tonight will be beautiful to take advantage of. Saturday we start off dry. Rain showers move in Saturday throughout Father's Day, and I'll have the timing for that coming up in just a bit. Thanks, Caitlin. Still to come on Live at 5, from Ashland to Carleton, we're taking you around the Northland city by city. You're watching Live at 5 with Kristen Vaki, Anthony Bant, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live Local CBS 3. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and as you know, my passion is to help each and every one of you get the best sleep of your life. That's why I created my new Giza Dreams bed sheets, 21-inch wide pillowcases that will fit over any pillow, and deep pocket sheets that will fit over any mattress. Because you'll never want to sleep on anything else. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen right now to get your very own MyPillow Giza Dream Sheet. Use the promo code and Mike will give you two for one low price and free shipping. Don't risk life or limb cleaning out your gutters. With one simple click or call, Gutter Helmet will provide a free inspection and estimate to eliminate the dangerous chore permanently. Our certified installers will clean out, tune up, install Gutter Helmet over new or existing gutters, and clean up the work area in less than a day. Gutter Helmet blends in beautifully with your home, is engineered to handle the heaviest of rainfalls, and is backed by a lifetime transferable warranty, assuring you'll never clean your gutters again. Gutter Helmet, retiring ladders since 1981. Hello, I'm Steve Little, owner of Bath Planet. I want to thank you for allowing us to serve you these last two decades. Safety is our top priority, so our workers are following all CDC guidelines to ensure the safety of both our customers and employees. Our showroom is currently closed with a flexible reopen date. Our company is doing everything we can to keep our customers and employees safe during this time. We are excited to let you know our offer of zero down, zero interest, and zero payments on all our products has been extended so you can get the work done now and not have to pay for it until 2022. This offer now goes through June 30th, so call us today or go online to book your appointment to take advantage of this amazing offer. We will also give you a $25 gift card to a locally owned restaurant with every new appointment to show our support for other local businesses. On behalf of all of us at Bath Planet, we look forward to serving you soon. Thank you. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW, cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look at Duluth City Hall where Juneteenth marchers have gathered. We will check back in with Emma Quinn shortly, who is on scene. But first, let's over, head over to Kristen to see what's happening around the region. A police chief announced his retirement and a senior living facility opened their doors today. All this and more as we take you around the Northland city by city. Ashland Police Chief Jim Gregoire announced yesterday that he will be retiring next month, ending his 25-year career as a police officer. In an interview with Ashland Daily Press, Gregoire said the last four and a half years have been trying, but he feels he has implemented good progressive measures within the department. He went on to say the trials of the job have been starting to take a toll on his well-being and his family, and he does not want to change who he is due to his career. Gregoire had served, has served as chief of police since January of 2016 and has been in the department since March of 1997. Eight years ago today, Duluth was underwater. This is a look back at the aftermath of the heavy rain that bombarded the Northland in June of 2012. A state of emergency was declared in Duluth, Hermantown, Cloquet, Barnum, Moose Lake, and Superior. 
Homes and cars were underwater and streets were torn up. Jay Cook State Park, Duluth Lake Superior Zoo and the surrounding neighborhoods took some of the biggest hits. You'll remember some of the, those zoo animals drowned, a polar bear escaped from its exhibit and two seals were washed out of their exhibit with one of them ending up on Grand Avenue. Meanwhile, a new senior living center opened in Carleton today. Project leaders held a ribbon cutting for the Willow's Edge Senior Living. They're hoping this 30-unit facility will create more options as many senior living spots fill up quickly in the area. They're asking any visitors to please wear a mask. If there's something going on in your neighborhood that you think we should know about, send us an email and it might be featured as we go around the Northland city by city. Still to come on Live at 5, we take you live to the Juneteenth March happening in Duluth. And the first day of summer comes on Saturday as we actually return back to seasonable temperatures and some much needed rain is also in the forecast. Those details next. They're live, they're local. Watch the CBS3 News with Kristen Bakke and Anthony Matt tonight at 6 right after the CBS Evening News at 5.30. Home World Rugs Progressive Rug Sale. The more you buy, the more you save. Up to $500 off sale prices on any rug $199 or more. Every shape, size, pattern, and color rug on sale now. Up to 56% off regular prices. The Progressive Rug Sale at Home World Rugs. We dance for healing. We dance for one another. For connection. In ways like no other. Together. Or even apart. We are resilient. We are resilient. The 2020 census is here, and we need to do our part for our people. Here's a crust too thick and cheesy not to eat in reverse. Keep it coming, buddy. That's right. Back it up. The one and only original stuffed crust, only from Pizza Hut. Just $11.99. No one out pizzas the hut. Always on the go, but want to keep up with the day's news? Don't worry. Now we are wherever you are. Traveling? No problem. Stream wherever, whenever with live local CBS3. Catch Eye on Parenting every Thursday at 6 with me, Leanne Valdez on CBS3. Home Sleep Express is celebrating the grand reopening of all showrooms. Get zero down, no interest financing for six years on your favorite purple and tempur mattresses. Plus, get free delivery, setup, and a 120-day comfort guarantee during Home's grand reopening sale at Sleep Express. Always on the go, but want to keep up with the day's news? Don't worry. Now we are wherever you are. Traveling? No problem. Stream wherever, whenever with live local CBS3. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW. Cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. Catch Eye on Parenting every Thursday at 6 with me, Leanne Valdez on CBS3. This past week has been a nice little treat before summer arrives with the summer-like temperatures and today has been fantastic here in Canal Park. We're looking at temperatures up on the hill and down on the lake all in those 70s. Now you'll notice though areas more inland are kind of in those darker green shaded colors. We're looking at cooler temperatures for a change off to our north and west. Temperatures in those upper 60s, low 70s. Closer to the lake though we're in temperatures up in the upper 70s. Grand Marais in the warmer spot, 73 up on the hill. But 55 down by the lake. So we've got a wide variety of temperatures with the shift of the wind and then with those rain showers kind of off to our east still for the UP. So if I take a step out of the way here, you can see kind of the UP and areas in eastern portions of Wisconsin still dealing with some portions of clouds and some scattered rain showers. And that's from that cold front that moved through Duluth last night. So that's just moving ever so slowly off to the region, way off to the east. And that's also taking the clouds with it. So we're just under partly cloudy skies here in the Twin Ports. And that's going to be the remainder of tonight. Now, Saturday is the first day of summer, but it's going to be a cooler afternoon in the Twin Ports as we've got an east wind kicking back in off of the lake. Clouds will increase ahead of a system off to our north and west. We've got a low pressure to our south and east, and as these two kind of merge together, we'll see increasing clouds by the afternoon. 
And then scattered rain showers and thunderstorms late Saturday into Father's Day as these systems kind of move together. Throughout Father's Day, it's not going to be a washout, but we will start the morning off with some passing showers. And then by the afternoon, we're going to be looking at just some pop-up showers, some pop-up isolated thunderstorms under those mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures in those mid-70s throughout much of the region. And then Monday, we've got another system. The rest of the seven-day forecast is several systems kind of just popping in and out of our region. Ever so small, so the Duluth are going to be on the outskirts of this region come Monday. So northern Minnesota will be mostly, probably partly cloudy, mostly sunny. Here in the Twin Ports, we'll see mostly cloudy skies be clipped by some of that system. So there is that chance yet again Monday for scattered showers, mainly rain to the south in northern Wisconsin as well. So time and after you here on the Futurecast, tonight through tomorrow morning, clouds will start to increase from our south and east. And then that's when those see those, you'll see some sunshine Saturday morning tomorrow to start the weekend. But you'll notice clouds will quickly increase ahead of that rain kind of moving in. Wisconsin will see most of that rain through the day on Saturday, and then it arrives in the Twin Ports late Saturday. We're looking at 9 p.m. Most of that rain still to the south in northern Wisconsin. It kind of moves up the North Shore by Sunday morning. So to start Father's Day will be a cloudier, rainier morning, and then just some very scattered, isolated showers. We're not looking at anything on the severe side, but enough to uh, make plans kind of inside for the day on Sunday. So 54 up on the hill, 58 down by the lake tonight. Partly cloudy skies. It's going to be a beautiful evening tonight. A cool evening. Not looking at much humidity as well. It's been very pleasant out there today. 77 tomorrow in Hayward. 67 in Superior. 70 up on the hill. 59 degrees down by the lake. We've got that east wind returning. So things are going to be much cooler by the lake tomorrow. Clouds will increase tomorrow afternoon. So the weekend does start beautiful with sunshine and some dry conditions. But by Saturday night into Father's Day, we've got another round of rain showers that move in. And then uh, we see another round kind of Monday to Tuesday. Embrace the sunshine for the rest of tonight. Tomorrow, yes. get on the grill or something. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, thanks, Caitlin. Yep. Marches are continuing through downtown Duluth, commemorating Juneteenth. Let's head back out to CBS 3's Emma Quinn, who is following the marches as uh, they are at City Hall now. And Emma, what can you tell us? Yeah, so Kristen, Tony, as of right now, I'll step off to the side right here. There is about a thousand people out here now, uh, just a few minutes ago. Uh, organizers and those who are up at the top steps of City Hall were speaking. Uh, someone had a musical performance, and so they've all been talking about their own personal experiences with racial inequality and encounters with police officers. Now, earlier, again, we were down at the Bayfront Music Festival uh, Park where other uh, protesters were started down there and they marched all the way up here to City Hall. Now, now some of the people that I talked to when I was down there were saying that Juneteenth is a time to celebrate how far they've come, how far we've come as a community, but also how much work we have left to do. And so they were hoping that today's events can help bring more awareness to racial inequality and police brutality as well. So, so guys, again, we're here uh, out at City Hall. They walked all the way down from Bayfront across the bridge where I-35, uh, the intersection of I-35 is, and they're all here up at Rail, uh, City Hall. Send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Emma. Still to come, how two local businesses are teaming up to help the community. The 2020 Subaru Forester. The SUV for all you love. Standard symmetrical all-wheel drive plus 33 miles per gallon. Standard EyeSight driver assist technology. A spacious and comfortable interior. The best SUV for all you do. Get 0% APR financing on all new 2020 Subaru Forester models now through June 30th. Visit us online at MillerHill.com. They're live, they're local. Watch the CBS3 News with Kristen Bakke and Anthony Matt. Tonight at 6, right after the CBS Evening News at 5.30. For breaking stories that impact the Northland most, turn to CBS3. Watch Anthony Matt weekdays at 6 and 10 p.m. on live local CBS3 Duluth. Northland, when you want the most new country, make the switch to Cat Country, 98.9 KTZO. I never met a girl like you, what makes you country? Yeah, Number one for the most new country. Yeah. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW, cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. 
Mariah Haberman here from Discover Wisconsin. Join me and the rest of the DW crew every week on this station for all things Wisconsin. Continue the adventure on social media and discoverwisconsin.com for behind-the-scenes content and great Wisconsin giveaways, including a chance to win a free vacation. This week's featured prize package could take you to Baraboo. Just visit discoverwisconsin.com for details. Major ruling by the state's high court will tell you why some power they had sales. They also say that people are ready to get out and shoot. Hope for an old mining project. With the legislative session ending last The Miller Hill Mall in Duluth is open once again. Uh, they gave us three hours to shut down and they gave us 10 seconds to open. The reaction after 650 people were laid off. Lawmakers in Minnesota can't... To stay up to date with the news and weather that impacts you and your community, continue watching live local CBS3. Mining. It's a part of Minnesota's history that affects everyone in the Northland still to this day. From environmental issues to economics and so much more. Join me, Kristen Bakke, every Tuesday for Eye on Mining. A fair and unbiased report that answers the tough questions surrounding the world of mining. Eye on Mining with Kristen Bakke. Tuesdays at 10 only on live local CBS3. Brought to you by Iron Mining Association. I want people to tune in and I want them to see a friend because I'm a mother and I know how hard it can be. You're doing all these things and then you have the child and then no one talks to you about how lonely it can be. You know, who do you lean to? Who do you connect with? This segment is very important to me because I get to work, but I also get to work on my passion. Catch Eye on Parenting every Thursday at 6 with Leanne Valdez on CBS3. Two local bars are teaming up to help out the community and each other. Earth Rider Brewery in Superior is giving away old beer that hasn't sold due to decreased demand during the COVID-19 pandemic. They're donating it to Vikra Distillery in Duluth. Vigra will be using the alcohol from the beer to continue making hand sanitizer. Meanwhile, Duluth's Ursa Minor Brewing rolled out a new craft beer with a name that speaks for itself. The beer released this week represents the hardship Sarah Hugis has recently gone through. Hugis, who's married to Ursa Minor's co-owner, had her baby last August six and a half weeks early. She also learned she had an aggressive form of cancer in her placenta at the same time. Her baby had to spend some time in the NICU at Essentia. Now with each can sold, Ursa Minor will donate one dollar to the Northland Newborn Foundation. Well, women especially can feel empowered and be like, you know, they are badasses and creating life in any scenario is pretty much amazing. And uh... Coming up tonight at 6, we'll meet the woman behind the beer and learn about the challenges she's overcome. Coming up on the CBS Evening News, the president issues a veiled threat to protesters in Tulsa ahead of his Saturday night rally. Why the Oklahoma Supreme Court is weighing in on whether rally goers need to wear masks. Plus, on this Juneteenth, tens of thousands march nationwide to decry racism. Could this day soon be a national holiday? And Steve Hartman goes off the road with a Father's Day story about a mysterious mailbox. It's a touching tribute to dads. That's all tonight here on the CBS Evening News. Find your favorite CW shows on the Duluth CW. Cable, satellite, over the air, and streaming on KDLH Duluth. I don't know how we would have survived without Mediacom. We, uh, we have five kids, and we have Mediacom for all of our internet and all of our cable services. So I'm stuck in my house, but at the same time, I'm connected to people all over the world, and it's been fantastic. Thank you. Right now, we all feel like the world is in a standstill. The internet has played a huge role in allowing us to stay connected to our jobs and stay connected with the ones that we love. We couldn't do it without Mediacom. At UCARE, we've been decomplicating Medicare plans in Minnesota for a long time. In fact, we've been offering Medicare Advantage plans longer than anyone else. Our Medicare Advantage plans are affordable, and 96% of Minnesota providers accept UCARE. So if your provider practices at any of these clinics or hospitals, you can likely keep them. To learn the basics and see how UCARE Medicare Advantage plans compare to others, visit ucare.org slash TV.
Coming up tonight, we're live in Duluth at the Juneteenth celebrations. Ursa Minor is brewing something for one of their own that highlights overcoming obstacles. On live local CBS3. You're gonna pick that up? Cause there's no poop fairy to do that for you. See? Take these. They're not just poop bags, they're pride bags. Because you're doing the right thing for your neighbors and for the health of the whole watershed. Gotta fly. There's a chihuahua cranking one out in Leicester right now. There is no poop fairy. Hi, I'm Dr. Charity Reynolds. I would like to remind you that COVID-19 is still around. Remember to wash your hands, wear your mask, and stay home as much as possible. Thank you. Welcome back to the CBS3 News Live at 5. Here's a live look at City Hall, where Juneteenth marchers have descended on City Hall steps. Let's check back on the day's top stories and take a quick glance at what's to come at 6. Duluth's Catholic community welcomed a new bishop today. Pope Francis appointed Father Michael Malloy to be the 10th bishop of the Diocese of Duluth. Malloy previously served the Diocese of Rapid City, South Dakota. Now, Bishop-elect Malloy has been a pastor since 1979. He will fill the role left vacant by the late Bishop Paul Serba, who died unexpectedly in December. And coming up tonight on the CBS3 News at 6, we're continuing to bring you the latest on the Juneteenth marches that are happening right now across downtown Duluth. That's your news tonight at 5. The CBS Evening News is up next. We'll see you back here at 6.